focus um, and it's just stopped working uh, seems to be a little bit of resistance when it's going in one direction the uh, winding mechanism um, I, I've looked at it for a good half an hour um, without actually touching anything uh, and I can't see what's uh, what's wrong with it so we're going to have to start uh, disassembling it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to undo this little screw here uh, and release the stem I've already loosened that just uh, about a turn and a half in actual fact the winding stem which once free should just slide out like so and then the uh, the whole movement now with that retaining clip there removed and the stem out the whole movement now will gently drop out from the uh, from the case I'm going to remove the hands now uh, it's a little bit fiddly I hate doing this bit so I've got a little piece of paper I'm just going to slot that in underneath it hopefully just to try and prevent damaging the uh, damaging the face so that's the hands removed and thankfully nothing damaged to the yeah there we go. Nope, I wonder. Right. <coughs> so we're going to start removing the uh, the dial, and there's some extremely small little holes here. Uh, That's it. That's the uh, that's the face and the or the dial off. So we can put this now in a movement holder. Okay, so we're uh, going to remove this uh, automatic bridge now. And to do that, there's uh, actually uh, three clicks. Three clicks on this. There's a click there, uh, which is standard. Main screen click, main spring click. Got a click here as well in the middle, which is running on this outer wheel. And then you've got a click here as well. So you pulling this back. There we go. And then you're just pulling this back as well, this click. There we go. And now, in theory, all the tension should be on <coughs> the main spring. Click swap screwdrivers now, and we're gonna move that. Move that. There we go, that bridge is free. Yeah, because I've just removed this bridge, it's meant that this. Uh, this uh, first click that I moved is now the, that's the that's a little uh, pin that was coming up, that was sticking up through the bridge. So basically, that can now be removed as well. Um, and also, it means that actually this whole bridge piece can now uh, can now be removed as well. So the whole weighted uh, mechanism can be taken off. And now, in theory, we can uh, let down the mainspring just in a normal way. You can feel tension against my finger there. Okay, well, it's fully uh, fully let down now. going to remove this clip
clicker. Um, do it. This is the Okay, we're going to uh, try and remove this uh, bridge piece. Which and that releases these little springs. So they're the bumper springs. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove this uh, second bridge. Okay, it's pretty late in here now. Um, I did say a while ago that I'd uh, given up for the evening, but I came back in. The camera that I have been using to record everything has uh, has died. Packs in. Um, basically, I took this bridge off in my last uh, in my last part of the video. I think I just got there where the camera died. Uh, started. I still couldn't see what the problem was. Started taking. Um, well, I took all the the, the running uh, train out there, and then right at the end, just as I pulled the uh, escape wheel out, this little piece came out. Um, now it looks to me, um, I'll get the, get them out later when I'm reassembling it and show you, but it looks to me as though it's a little piece of the uh, bumper spring that's just eventually just works its way loose. Um, and now, when I give this a Try and focus that in a little bit more. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. There we go. There we go. And when I give this a little push now, we're running. Yep. Okay. I can't do that very well holding my uh, holding my camera. There you go. But it, we're running again, um, and it was all locked up before. So I'm pretty. Confident, it's this little piece. Um, so I'm gonna reassemble it now. Um, it's late, but I'm gonna. I want to see if it works. So there we go. Okay, things are looking uh, ever more hopeful. I've just put the uh, mainspring um, or click on there anyway. Um, just gear up at the top. So it's wheel up at the top. And uh, I've only put literally just pushed it around with the. Uh, Screwdriver, just give it a couple of turns, and already we're uh, we're moving. Okay, uh, they're the bumper springs. Don't know if I can zoom in any closer than that, but they're the uh, bumper springs there. That's a little piece that comes out. It's definitely a part of that. It's just a little piece that snaps up over the uh, number of years that it's been worn. Thankfully, the uh, springs are, are way long enough, and they're not going to uh, miss that one little linkage. Um, I'm pretty convinced of that, anyway. So uh, yeah, I'll put them back in. Hopefully, we'll we'll still be good to go without any uh, replacement parts. Okay, and there's the Seamaster working back together again after a couple of years of being in the drawer, broken. Um, thankfully, it's back on my wrist again. Thanks for watching.